Welcome to part two in answering questions addressed to Einstein and to myself on the occasion of his birthday. Uh, the counterintuitive elements in Einstein's special and general theory of relativity generate imagination and fantasy. And fantasy. This uh, relates particularly to the notion of time travel. Time travel is the idea of moving between two points in time just as in ordinary travel we move between two points in space. Uh, time travel is a topic that is referred to in many science fiction uh, stories and novels. Whether time travel uh, into the past or into the future will ever be possible is also a valid question in science. Apparently the laws of physics would not allow time travel into the past. But in principle time travel into the future may be possible. And this is based on the notion that both in special theory of relativity uh, and in the general theory of relativity there is a phenomenon of slowing down of time. In the special theory of relativity this occurs on a very fast moving spaceship. In the general theory of relativity this occurs in a very strong gravitational field. Therefore a traveler going out, leaving the Earth on a fast spaceship or going to a place where the gravitational field is very, very strong, could come back in the future to Earth where he would be much younger than everything and everybody that did not go on that travel. Many uh, of our uh, participants uh, asked questions about God and religion. Abdallah Sagar al -Ghanem. Muhammad Abdullaye, Azra Bayrich Koller, Suki Dilon, all of them wanted to know what was Einstein's attitude to God and religion. Einstein did not identify with religious establishment or with religious ritual. He did not believe in a God that is concerned with what, with what individuals on earth do or do not do. Moral behavior is everybody's own responsibility. He had great admiration for the harmony of nature, which he identified with the concept of God. Around this concept, he formed his own religion to which he referred as a cosmic religion. In this sense, his concept of God was closest to that of the philosopher Spinoza, whom Einstein considered as the greatest Jew ever, with whom he identified both emotionally and intellectually. Uh, Will Butler asked Albert Einstein directly, did it hurt your soul helping to make the atom bomb? The formula E equals MC squared does explain uh, how in the process of fission mass is transformed into a huge amount of energy. It is not a blueprint for producing an atom bomb, yet it is the physical principle which made this bomb possible. Einstein's name was associated with the bomb drop on Hiroshima and Nagasaki and that haunted him until the rest of his life and after World War II he devoted a lot of his time and energy to nuclear arms control and to nuclear arms disarmament. Charles Salzburg asked what would Einstein's attitude be towards dark energy. Now this is not directly related to what Einstein did yet I would like to answer this question because I think that Einstein would have been 
and used. The general theory of relativity that Einstein formulated predicts the possibility of an expanding or contracting universe. Einstein believed that the universe should be static. In order to avoid the possibility of an expanding universe, he added artificially a term into his equations. It is called the cosmological constant. Years later, when it observations showed that the universe is actually expanding, he referred to that as the greatest blunder in his scientific work, and he dropped the cosmological constant. Today, observations tell us that not only the universe is expanding, but that this, expanding, this expansion is increasing in its rate. The expansion is accelerating, and scientists have reintroduced a cosmological constant into Einstein's equation, also in a different way that he did, but still the notion of the cosmological constant is viable, apparently necessary, to explain this expansion and to represent the concept of dark energy, which may be responsible for this acceleration. Nicole Bloomberg, a science teacher uh, at the Solomon Schechter Day School in Nassau County. He asked 10 questions in the name of her third, fourth, and fifth graders. I wish I had time to answer all of them, but let me just refer to her question, what was Einstein's most important, greatest achievement? No doubt. His greatest achievement was his general theory of relativity, which completely revolutionized our concept of space, time, and gravitation. Now, many people asked about Einstein's attitude to love, to marriage. Uh, Einstein was married twice, to uh, Mileva marriage, and then to his cousin Elsa. Both marriages were, preceding, were preceded by passionate love affairs to the two women to be his wives. Uh, these love affairs, after a short time, cooled off. Uh, I'd like to respond to Sandra miller kais specific question about his attitude uh, to marriage. One can learn something about that from a letter uh, to a physicist, a colleague, of his that he wrote later in his life, where he stated, expressed his appreciation for his friend's ability to live for this, with the same wife, with the same woman throughout his entire life, a project in which he himself failed twice. David Tanami uh, asks, who was Einstein's greatest love? I would like to twist this question a little bit and answer not to who, but what was his greatest love. And that undoubtedly was physics. And finally, Ivo Mise, Les Hips, Tanvira Ziz, Temwani Chirwa, all of them were impressed by Einstein's hair. Uh, true, his hair was always in disarray. That was part of his general attitude uh, not to do anything that would please anybody. Uh, the way he dressed, the way he looked, what he said, the way he expressed his ideas. Now, you are not the only ones who are impressed by Einstein's hair. At the Hebrew University, in the Albert Einstein archives, we have a charming letter from a six years old girl who wrote to Albert, Dear Mr. Einstein, I saw your picture in the newspaper. I think that you should have your hair cut so that you would look better. As I said before, I could not answer all your questions. Many of the questions that remain are un unanswered are interesting and appropriate. If you still wish to get an answer to those questions, please write to us. And thank you once again for your participation in this project.